Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this end and I hope you guys are doing well. We'll take you through another CSS property which is quite important when it comes to styling your web page. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the CSS border image property. This property is used to add borders with an image. So you guys will understand it much better when we'll go through the practical part of this image property. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's start with CSS border image property. So the border image property in CSS allows us to use an image instead of a solid color for the border of an element. For example, let's say we have an element in uh, HTML part. So what we'll do is we'll add an element over here. So let's say we are writing over here div. So we have created a division. Fine. So we are writing over here. This is an example of using the border image property. Fine. Save it. So here you can see we have this text present on the browser. So let me just write here example and save it now. Let's give it some ID as well. So let's say if I'm writing over here class, let's say the class name is border. Fine. Save it. Now we'll move to the to the head section and we'll use the style tag over here. Now what we'll do is we'll access our class. So the class name is border. So we have our class over here. Now what we'll do is we'll add border to this particular element. So for now, what we'll do is we'll write over here border. Let's say our border is 10 pixel. The width of our border is 10 pixel. Let's say the nature will be solid and let's add a color first. Fine, let's say the color will be red. Save it. So here you can see we have a red border for this particular element. Now the next thing we can do is we can use the padding property. So let's say if I'm writing over here padding as 15 pixels. So here you can see it looks fine, right? We have a red color border for this particular element. Now, what if we want to add an image over here? So that's where the border image property comes into picture. So basically the border image property is a combination of several CSS properties. So basically it's a shorthand property. So what we'll do is we'll write over here border and then we'll write image. So we have to provide the URL first and let's say we have images a folder named images present in our CSS in our desktop. So let's say we are using any any of the image. Let's say we have image1.png. Now what we'll do is we'll remove this red color from here. We'll write now set it to transparent for now. Set it and here you can see we have this image. Fine. So what we have to do is we have to give some other properties as well. So let's save it. So here you can see we have this image. Let's use some other image. I guess we have an image named wall.png. Save it. And it's not visible. Let me just use a nice picture. So let's say we have what other pictures we have we have to check. So let's say we are using this back. So here you can see we have this image present over here for now save it and it will take some time it's taking some time so here you can see we have this image as the border this is white over here because the image is actually white at some point so instead of this we can use other images as well like previously we have used the wall.png save it and here you can see it's white from these two sides and we can change this value let's say we are changing it to 15 save it and here you can see this is a new image. Let's change it to 44, save it and let's see. So here you can see the pattern may change of the image, but the image will remain the same. If I'm writing over here 15 pixels, save it now. So here you can see the border now. So we are using an image as a border. Now in this example, we have defined a class which is border and it has a transparent border with a width of 10 pixels or 15 pixels right now right we also we have also added some padding to the element now the border image property is used to define the source of the image that will be used for a border the width of the border and how it should be sliced and repeated so we'll go through these properties once more so in this case we we have used an image called wall.png as the source of the border image now we have set the width of the border to 30 pixels and specified that it should be rounded 
Now what we'll do is we'll use the same property but this time we are going to explain this property to you guys. So let's understand the border image property. So basically the border image property is a shorthand property that allows us to define the source of an image that will be used as a border of an element as well as how that image should be sliced and repeated to create the border. So basically what the basic syntax looks like of the border image property I'll just show you. So we'll comment it out for now. So here what we'll do is we'll use the border image. So this is our property. Now it consists of five different values. The first value is always source. The second value comes as slice. Then we have width. Then we have outset. And then we have repeat. Fine. Now let's understand what each of these terms mean. Source. The source of the image to use for the border. This can be a URL to an image file or the keyword none to specify this no image. We can use none if we don't need any image. Right. The next one is slice. So slice defines how the image should be sliced to create the border. This can be a number in pixels or a keyword. For keyword we can use fill, repeat or round that specifies how the image should be sliced. For example, if you use the keyword fill the entire image will be used to create the border. If you use the keyword repeat, the image will be repeated as necessary to create the border. Fine. Then we have width. Width specifies the width of the border image in pixels. Then we have outset. Fine. Outset. Outset specifies the distance by which the border image should be offset from the edge of the element. Fine. So outset means the means this particular area. Now the last one we have is repeat. So repeat specifies how the border image should be repeated to fill the border. This can be a keyword again. We can use stretch, we can use repeat or we can use round. So that specifies how the image should be repeated. For example, if you use the keyword stretch, the image will be stretched to fill the entire border. Fine. So we'll go through another example where we'll use the border image property only. So by now I hope you guys must have understood that this is a mixture of five different values which is source, slice, width, outset and repeat. We can use each of these values separately. Just right over here border dash image and here you can see we have outset, repeat, slice, source and width. So we can use any of these properties separately as well. Fine. So for now we are discussing the CSS border image property. So we are going to use them in a single property. So for now what we'll do is we'll just remove everything from here. And let's remove this as well. So here we are save the program and now you guys will understand it much better. Fine. So what we are going to do is we are going to create another example. So what we'll do over here is we'll create some div tags so that you guys will be able to understand. So let's say we have a paragraph with ID as okay, we'll write over here ID. So let's give the ID as BRDRMG which is short form for border image and just write anything over here. Fine. So here we'll write hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Fine. So we are done with this paragraph and the next one is we are going to use another paragraph with ID which will be a little different. So let's say if I'm writing over here BRDR border image 2 basically. So let's write over here subscribe to our YouTube channel and help us grow. Do subscribe to our channel guys if you want daily content on specific technologies. Now at last what we'll do is we'll show you what our image actually looks like. So if I write over here original image and then I'll just add the source of our image. Fine. So if I write here MGSRC and we have the images present inside the images folder. Then I'll use diamond.png as an image, save it. So here you can see this is a going to be our original image and we have two paragraphs, right? So we are making some changes in this particular image only. So remember here we have the border image property can contain five different values. Fine. So for now what we'll do is we'll access a first 
what we can say id fine so which is border image now what we'll do is we'll write over here border let's say it's going to be 10 pixels solid and transparent every anyway so save it and here you can see there's no difference padding i'll also give here as 15 pixels see there's no difference again and now what we'll do is we'll use the border image property so this is our property what i'll do is i'll use the url again and we are going to use the same image so we'll write over here images slash diamond dot png this is our image you can use any image of your choice and if i write here just 30 and round fine save it and here you can see okay so the mistake is we have written over here only brd so we have to write here brdr save it and here you can see we have a border so this is our border and it is so here you can see right the yellow part of our image is stretched the middle is empty and the corners are red in color now we can use different values just let me just show you if we write here hash border image and if the id of a second p tag is or we can say paragraph element is brdr image 2 fine so if i write over here border and let's say i'm writing over here 10 pixels solid and transparent fine then i'll use the padding property again 15 pixel i'll set and then we'll use the border image property again fine so we'll write over here url now we are going to access the same image so we'll write over here diamond.png now we are going to use the same value as 30 and we'll write over here stretch in place of round now see the difference guys if i save it here you can see the difference right here we have used same images for both the paragraph elements but the output is different so here we have used stretch and here we have used round so here you can see the difference actually now instead of this we can use other values as well so let's say if i'm writing over here 30 and 25 it is going to be for what we can say a slice fine now we'll set the width 20 pixels and 25 pixels now what we'll do is we'll write over here one ram and round and that's it i'll remove this round from here save it and here you can see now this is the change so here we have used 30 and 25 so let's just use 10 and 5 and let's see the output so here you can see 10 and 5 the output is different we'll use 30 and 25 again and here what we'll do is we'll reduce the width 10 and let's say 8 pixels so here you can see okay the width and let me just use here 10 and 15 pixels save it and here you can see so here you can see the width is different for the upper part for top and bottom and for left and right so this represents top and bottom this represents left and right now if i write over here stretch again save it and here you can see nothing happens because the round we have already used so if we just write stretch over here and here you can see the difference now the width is 10 and 15 pixels for top bottom and left right and the type is or we can say and the repeat is stretch so the image will stretch so that's how we can use the css border image property guys now the basic concept is if you want to use this css border image or property it means that you want to use an image as the border of any particular element on a web page so this is the syntax for using it it is a shorthand property which consists of five different css properties which are source slice width outset and repeat so i hope you guys must have got a good idea about the css border image property give it a try by yourself and let us know in the comments if you face any sort of difficulties so with that we have come to the end of this css border image tutorial i hope you guys have a great session understanding this css border image property we'll see you next time with some other video on css so until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code